Stevens, the member from Burlington. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On May 2nd, Burlington celebrated Canada and Netherlands Friendship Day. Burlington has a strong and vital Dutch community whose members continue to contribute significantly to the vitality and prosperity of our city. In 2010, the former member for Kitchener Waterloo, who was of Dutch descent, introduced a private member's bill declaring May as Dutch Heritage Month. It passed and is now law. We had the pleasure of welcoming former MPP and Minister Elizabeth Whitmer to Burlington last Saturday. This year's celebration was particularly special as it marked the 70th anniversary of the liberation of the Netherlands by Canadian Armed Forces. I'm proud to say that my father, Hugh McMahon, was part of that liberating force. His regiment's crest hangs proudly in Appledore and City Hall. What made Saturday equally special is that we also celebrated the 10th anniversary of the City of Burlington's twinning with the City of Appledorn. I had the pleasure of visiting Appledorn in 2007 with members of our City Council and our Mundialization Committee, also part of City Hall. People like Charles Minken, who chairs the Appledorn Subcommittee, were there on Saturday, and he organized the event. At City Hall on that day, we heard the beautiful performances from the Deo Gloria Choir, visiting from Irk the Netherlands, Alexander Public School Band, and the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 60 Color Guard. Finally, we were all touched by the story shared by students at Lester B. Pearson High School, led by teacher Judith Jenis on a recent trip to Appledorn. Students conducted research on a fallen soldier buried in the Holton Canadian War Cemetery. Part of this meaningful initiative sees the students sharing that story, which is then stored in a permanent collection on display at Holton. It was an extremely meaningful celebration, and I would like to thank all of those who played a role in organizing this year's Canada-Netherlands Friendship Day. To them, I say, Donkeyville. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.